right, guys, we just got out of the mall. You know, that was a nice mall. I saw it at the, you know, beginning of the video. But yeah, now we're gonna do a second food review and oh, we've done this chain a couple of times, but you know what? They have newer items, so I'm gonna cover another new item from this because it's been a year since I've done this chain in my channel. So we're stuck in traffic a bit which, because um Which more. chain is it? Hmm? Which chain is it? Culver's, what do you think? Oh. You didn't mention it. I was gonna mention it as a surprise, but you know you <laughs> you asked me in the video, so there you go guys. My parents just ruined my surprise. So there you have it. We're gonna call birds. You know what? They didn't ruin the surprise. You know why? Because you're gonna click this video, guys. You're gonna click this video. And you're going to see the title, Food Review Number 23, Culver's Culver's in Orlando, Florida. So you're going to see that video on there anyway. So you know what? They didn't ruin it. Uh, let me not blame them right now. So, <laughs> you know, it's my fault in the end. Yeah. Oh, look at that Toyota Tundra just like stuck there. Oh, my God. This is what happens when you're in Orlando and there's too many tourists. You know, Orlando has 68 million tourists every year. It's Whoa. it's it's crazy. No, like because the airport, no, the airport alone handles like 40 million passengers, but the rest of the people from like Canada and the United States, they just drive here. Like oh, I remember we drove here twice from Toronto, and it took us two days, but this time we just flew down. So <laughs> yeah, 68 million people come to Orlando, Florida every year. Interesting, isn't it? So we're going back to Millennia, the same place we went near, like, it's a bit further from where we went in Pollo Tropical, but it's in the same area. A lot of stuff is in the Millennia area, which is interesting. Like I mentioned in the other video, like, a lot of these places back in, like, 2004, 2003, 2002, it was just empty land, empty land that was just waiting to be developed. And right now we see so much and then right beside the Panda Express I told you this land is gonna be developed like half of it's gonna be developed into a medical facility and we don't know what the other half is gonna be but right recently the plaza where Culver's is because Culver's has recently opened in Florida they have not been in Florida the first time I visited and a couple of times I visited they just recently started opening in Florida so, you know, the, the Millennia Mall location is just two months old. So, you know what? We're going there as like a new, it's like very new. Because it's like in the Costco Plaza that is recently opened. And this plaza opened because, uh, you know, after the recession, after they were going to build a big giant, it's called the Mill Gardens on Millennia. This was going to be like open in like before the recession. But after the recession hit, that land was empty for viewers and just in 2015 2016 they developed this land it's right beside that millennia plaza so you're gonna check that out after this and um that's where they had two basically the place had two out parcels and uh yeah the, the one of them is a culvert okay, so we're gonna now? go there now straight you're gonna go straight after that um you know the the, the traffic signal which way up left so there's a uh, the Costco Plaza with five guys and then the, it's the new area this was not here before when I visited Orlando there's a Culver's right there there it is guys Culver's it's a bit you know you see one of the out parcels it's not developed yet that's gonna be a El Maison sandwiches in next year. They're gonna start prepping for that next year. And we have the Academy Sports and the Hobby Lobby here, which just opened less than a year ago. And this is, yeah, we're at Culver's. Prepare for Christmas. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, number is number 22. Today I'm gonna review the mushroom and Swiss with uh, vanilla frozen custard. So, yeah. And with uh, also, I'm gonna review from um, what is it, cheese curds for the first time. So, can't wait for that. All right, guys, we finally got the mushroom and Swiss uh, butter burger with the vanilla custard, frozen custard, and some Wisconsin um, cheese curds. Yes, yes. Wow. Let's see what I'm gonna try first. Let's try the cheese curds. All right, let's try it. 
Yeah. This is what cheese curd is. Cheese inside the fry. Mom, look at this. <laughs> it's 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 about average. I don't know. My, like the cheese curd. I mean, the I like the idea. No, but it's fresh cheese, and I like the idea that you put stuffed cheese into something like where you could deep fry it. But I don't know. The taste of it's it's average. Take another bite. Yeah, it's pretty much just average. It's cheese stuffed into a deep fry batter. That's all it is, pretty much. Yeah, that's what a cheese curd is, guys. All right, we have the. Now we're gonna go for the mushroom and Swiss butter burger. Every Culver's burger comes with a pickle. I think that's what I like about it. It's like it's like a miss. It's, I think it's a thing in the Midwest to put a pickle on top of a burger. And what the mushroom and Swiss burger includes is just the butter burger meat, Swiss cheese, and a bunch of mushrooms. That's what a mushroom and Swiss butter burger is. You just got butter on the you know bun. Yeah, let's try it. All right, we're gonna take our first bite. Let's check this out. I'm gonna take a side that has a lot of meat. All right, let's do this. You know, I thought I would never have mushroom Swiss because mushroom Swiss is not my type of burger. Because I'm always a person who likes burgers with like American cheese or cheddar cheese. But this is amazing. This is fantastic. Like. I'm not a fan of Swiss cheese, but oh my god, for the first time, I think it's the fact that it's like from this Swiss cheese is from Wisconsin, it's fresh, and the, you know, the butter burger meat is my favorite. So all together, it's like, oh my god, this taste is just amazing, it just melts into your mouth, and like, you know, the butter burger is like, it's like steak meat in a burger. You can see how thin the burger meat is, it's like very thin, and like Swiss cheese. No. Right there. Oh, wow. Let's take another bite. Oh, A plus. A plus right there. Mm. There were mushrooms inside. That's why I couldn't tell what mushroom. Oh my god. Mushrooms, it's like very hot. And like with the Swiss and like um, the butter burger meat. Oh my god. It's amazing. The mushroom just go. Perfect with this burger. I would recommend having this burger when you're good Culver's, of course Okay, last but not least we're gonna try the vanilla frozen custard because I've had chocolate custard all the time I call them. This is the first time I'm in vanilla frozen custard. So let's check this out All right, let's sip it up <laughs> It feels like you're sipping melted ice cream. Well, it was melted cuz like it's frozen custard but yeah, literally, it's just <laughs> ice cream you're just drinking out of a cup. That's what a frozen custard is when you when it melts. It's hard at first when they serve it to you, but then in time, when you eat your butter burger and everything else, it melts and it's like, oh my god, fantastic. It's just like how vanilla ice cream would taste, but then you're sipping it from a milkshake cup. That, yeah, that's what a vanilla custard, that's even a chocolate custard, frozen custard. <laughs> I rate this an 8 out of 10. First time I called it was an 8 out of 10 because I like the butter burger and the frozen custard, but totally did not like the cheese curds. Cheese curds are not my thing. I mean, at least not at Culver's. They're just not my thing at Culver's. So, yeah, because of the cheese curds, it's an 8 out of 10, but butter burger was fantastic. Frozen custard was fantastic. You know, overall, I enjoyed it today. So, yeah, guys. Alright guys, today was a fantastic meal. It was, you know, I've had Culver's after five months because, um, you know, just didn't have the opportunity on my last trip to have Culver's. But, you know what, I tried something new at the restaurant and I really liked it. And I think today was a great day. Covered two places in this Florida trip. And yeah, um, if you like this video, Drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below to let me know what you thought of the mushroom and Swiss butter burger. Because it's my first time having that burger. So, you know, never, it's been, it's never.
never seen on this channel before, first time, so yeah, just let me know. And what do you think of Culver's in general? If you live in the Midwest, you live in places like Arizona or Florida that have Culver's, let me know how you think of Culver's in your own opinion. What's your favorite burger, butter burger? So yeah guys, this is Steak Burger Master signing out in Orlando, Florida. See ya guys.